Hey, what's up, everyone? Kaban Armani four five six here today. Um, doing a news update, actually. Um, it's been quite a while since I've actually done a news update on this channel, mostly because I've been trying to focus on let's plays over, um, like you know, other stuff like news updates and other little things on my channel that I used to do before. But um, you know, I decided because uh, a few people actually started to ask me because they were like, "Hey, what happened to your news updates and stuff?" I noticed that you haven't been doing news updates as much lately. Decided I'd go on and hop back into it, try and see how you all receive it and um, you know if people continue to enjoy the news updates and want me to keep doing them then I'll make sure to um, take some time out of my day to hopefully like you know uh, give you all news updates because I still follow with news and stuff like that it's just that I haven't really done videos because they take editing and stuff like that and usually I upload them later at night and I'm doing other stuff because I have school I have you know I talk to my friends hang out with friends um, you know I have to record LP stuff like that so you know, um, but yeah, anyway, enough of my rambling, let me go on and get to the news, and then there's something else I actually want to talk about, um, I want to talk about PAX Prime as well, so, uh, because some of you all have been asking me what I think about the Wii U, what I did at PAX Prime, stuff like that, I didn't really get to do any vlogs myself at there, because I was trying to record game footage for the Wii U, so I didn't really have time on my camera, or battery life on my camera to actually record vlogs of me just doing stuff, so. But I've appeared in some people's vlogs, if you all haven't seen on other people's channels. But um, anyway, on with the news. So, um, lately there have been uh, some new pictures actually shown in a new Game Informer magazine that's coming out. I believe it's the October issue. See some new New Super Mario Bros. U pictures that have been leaked. And they look amazing actually. We finally get to see Yoshi is back in the game. And the backgrounds and everything look fantastic. So here you are. You can check it out right here. Also, not only that, we also have a new Metroid picture from uh, Nintendo Land. Um, when, you know, the game that's like full of attractions based off Nintendo franchises and all. Finally get to see what the Zelda game is all... I'm sorry, the Metroid game is all about. And uh, it looks very similar to Battle Me, the game that we saw at um, E3 2011 when the Wii U was first revealed. So here's a picture right here as well. But yeah, not only that, we also um, found out that uh, New Super Mario Bros. U is going to have a speed boost, speed run boost mode, to where basically you can, um, like, the there's like a harder mode or whatever, to where basically all the stages are auto-scrolling, so uh, you have to basically, like, you know, keep up at a steady pace so that, you know, you won't fall behind, like, the, the scrolling screen. So it's actually kind of cool, actually, how they're kind of adding that. Putting emphasis on speed runs, because like I said, I really like New Super Super Mario Bros. 2, you know, you wouldn't think that the coins really change the way you play the game, but since a lot of the suits um, have a huge emphasis on speed running, like to get as many coins as possible, it's actually kind of cool how, you know, you're trying to run all over the place and stuff like that, and you play it differently. So this mode is kind of similar to that, which I think is actually going to be pretty cool. But um, yeah, then also not only that, we also found out that uh, New Super Mario Bros. U is going to have a Super Mario World um, style map. It's going to be similar to that. And uh, this was confirmed, I believe, in the latest Game Informer magazine. And basically, uh, the map can be panned or like panned around any time and explored and stuff like that. It has multiple paths, and uh, there are mid-world like fortresses, like you know, in New Super Mario Bros. 2 and other Mario games, where like you have to go to the fortress and all. I and you have to like uh, go against the Koopalings, I believe. And there are seven worlds. Um, I believe I'm actually reading it right here, right now. Um, there's Air Acorn Plains, Sparkling Waters, which is a uh, tropical land. Um, Frosted Glacier, Layer Cake Desert, which kind of sounds like a cake world. And then uh, also um, an area similar to Forest of Illusion and a Sky World, um, surrounded by a tornado. So uh, yes, all sound pretty cool actually. And you know, from what we've seen with New Super Mario Bros. U, the backgrounds, graphics, everything look amazing. So uh, definitely a game that we should keep our eye out on. And I'm definitely looking forward to. I'm um, actually got to have some hands-on time at PAX Prime. That, and then also, uh, kind of wanted to talk about something that really isn't 
news related, but I thought it would be pretty cool to talk about because we do know that the Wii U is going to be coming out very, very, like the Wii U price and release date is going to be announced really, really soon on September 13th, which is, uh, let me see, I think four more days. Yeah, I was looking at my clock on my uh, computer screen. Um, four more days, basically. And wanted to talk about release date, actually, because we've been hearing a lot of stuff lately and I know it's only four more days, we, you know, just a little bit more like time we can be patient but I kind of wanted to talk about this actually because it's been something that's been on my mind ever since I went to PAX Prime and heard some stuff as well so um as you all know uh, Ubisoft released a listing for Just Dance 4 for the Wii U saying that it's going to be coming out uh, the game for like the Wii U version of the game is coming out sometime in um, October on in like European region and we all know that in Europe like if a console from Nintendo gets released or something like that it's going to come out before or shortly after um, like in the US so we should be expecting still an October release date in the US if this game is actually if this like listing is actually true some people don't think that it's true. Some people have been saying the game's going to be coming out Black Friday, like the system's coming out Black Friday, shortly before Black Friday, November 18th, November 20th. We've really, like, so many dates have been tossed out. We really haven't, we really don't know. So, but I thought, you know, with what this, like, release date and all, even though most people are kind of taking it with a grain of salt, and I want to go on and say right now, don't take what I'm saying seriously. Take it with a grain of salt. Um... I've just been thinking, the Wii U may actually come out October. I don't think that was, you know, um, that was an accident or anything like that. They probably didn't mean to show it then, but I don't, I still think the game's coming out October because it said it was coming out October. So, basically, um, as you all know, uh, you know, it was like Assassin's Creed 3. That's supposed to be coming out on the uh, Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U. Um, it's going to be coming out on uh, all those systems. And we don't have an official Wii U release date, but it is coming out October 30th. So I thought for a second, maybe what if they all release at the same time, on the same day? Like, what if, you know, just like, what if it was actually, because we know it's supposed to be like at least a launch window game. Not sure about launch title, but a launch window game. So it would, it would be actually pretty cool if like, you know, the Wii U was out in October and it got the same release date for Assassin's Creed 3 as the other consoles, the PS3 and the 360. And, uh, you know, I mean, we don't have any info just yet, so it's just kind of like guessing. But then I also thought about a bit more. I thought about Zombie U, and I thought, hey, wait a second, this is like a hollow, like this is like a horror survival horror based game. What if this game actually comes out because it's going to be a launch game for the Wii U? What if this game comes out in time for Halloween? I mean, just something to think about. I mean, I know I sometimes maybe overthink some stuff too much, but I thought, well, I think I think I'm making some credible points here, like points that actually would make sense. And uh, you know, I mean, even though they're just guesses, I mean, you know, just some thoughts that I came up with. I think they're still pretty, you know, like credible, basically. Like, you know, they're not just silly or anything like that. But I just thought, what if the Wii U actually does come out in October? That would be pretty cool, actually. I mean, it'd be a month earlier than I expected, but my body is ready for that system because it's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below about that because uh, I think it could possibly come out then. Um, not sure, but, you know, it'd uh, be pretty awesome if it did come out in October. But give me your opinions on what you think in the comments below. That's what I like about these news updates, actually. It seems more interactive to you all as well, because, you know, I'm actually able to tell you all news and stuff like that, hear your opinions and stuff. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy news updates. So, you know, if you do enjoy these news updates and stuff, please let me know. I'll make sure to keep them shorter than this right now. But, you know, it's been a while, so I'm kind of rambling a bit and all.